Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, how to read HTTP header values uh, using Sorlets. Okay. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, HTTP request and HTTP response video tutorials, where I have explained uh, what is HTTP request header, what is HTTP response header, etc. So first watch that video, then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Uh, left side you can see the client and right side you can see the server. Uh, the client sends a request to the server. Basically it is a HTTP request. Okay. So along with that HTTP request, the client can send a request headers to the server. Like that, uh, once a server receives the HTTP request, it will process the request and prepare the response and send a HTTP response back to the client. Along with that HTTP response, the server can send a response header to the client. Okay, so how to read this uh, uh, HTTP uh, request header and uh, HTTP response header uh, using servlets? We can see now. Okay, uh, to explain this one, I have created one project. I will open uh, the project in Eclipse and I will deploy in uh, Tomcat and I will show you how to read uh, HTTP request header and HTTP response header. Okay. Uh, to explain how to read HTTP request headers and HTTP response headers using servlet, I have created a project called uh, display all headers. Uh, in that, uh, in web.xml, uh, for the URL pattern uh, read all headers, I have configured uh, servlet classes uh, display headers servlet. Okay. And I am opening uh, display headers servlet.java. Uh, this uh, display headers servlet extends HTTP servlet and uh, it has uh, init method. This method will be called by the servlet container to initialize the servlet. Okay. Uh, next, uh, there is uh, do get method is there. Uh, this method is used to process the get request. Uh, here, what I am doing is uh, by calling uh, request dot uh, get header names method. I am getting all the header names as enumeration, and I am iterating uh, header names enumeration and uh, getting header name and passing that header name to request dot get header method to get the header value okay then i am printing uh, header name and uh, header value okay so by this way we can get all the request headers and uh, response headers and uh, we can display in the browser okay um, and uh, here uh, next method is do post method uh, this method is used to handle the post request Internally, it is calling uh, do get method uh, to process the request. Okay, and uh, next uh, we have uh, destroy method. Uh, this method uh, called by the servlet container to remove this uh, servlet from the service. Okay. Uh, next, I am going to deploy this uh, web application. File export as a var file, and I am placing inside. Uh, Tomcat the web apps folder. Save, finish. Then I am starting the server. Uh, the server has been uh, started. Uh, now I am going to access the web application using this uh, URL. I am going to click on enter. So it is displaying uh, index.html content. Uh, index.html is nothing but a welcome page and it has uh, one link called uh, order pizza so when you click on that link uh, it will open uh, pizza.html content so i'm going to click uh, order pizza link so this is uh, the pizza.html uh, content okay uh, i'm opening in eclipse uh, so this is a pizza order form and it has a submit button at the end so once you click uh, uh, it will call the server. Uh, the action is uh, read all headers, and method is post. Okay. Uh, before uh, enter uh, some values and click on submit, I will open uh, web developer uh, developer toolbar. Okay. Uh, now I am going to enter a value. Um, uh, the crust is uh, thin crust 
toppings uh, peas uh, paneer red peppers appetizer address 7th street New Delhi credit card visa credit card number one two three one two three now I am clicking on order visa button so this is a response uh, we got from the server uh, we can see all the header name and the corresponding header values here okay uh, so once uh, we click on uh, order pizza button uh, the request goes to the server and the URL pattern is uh, read all headers okay so the server will forward the request to the servlet container the servlet container will check uh, the read all headers URL pattern is there in the web.xml or not so based on that uh, URL pattern it will identify the corresponding uh, uh, servlet which is nothing but uh, display header servlet uh, then the servlet container will uh, uh, load this uh, servlet class and instantiate the servlet class then it will call the init method to initialize this servlet uh, then uh, servlet container will call the uh, do post method uh, because uh, in uh, pizza.html we specified uh, uh, method as post so do post method will be called that in turn it calls the do get method to process the request uh, in do get method uh, we have written uh, code to get all the header names and the corresponding values okay that we are writing in the print writer uh, that response has uh, sent back to the browser uh, that response uh, you are seeing here okay and uh, you can see uh, the request header and response header by clicking this uh, row and here you can see response header and the uh, request headers okay host user agent accept accept language accept encoding so that all the things uh, we have uh, uh, read using our program and uh, displayed here okay and uh, you can see the response by clicking this one so we got uh, this html response from the server and uh, that is interpreted uh, by the browser and uh, displayed in the nice way here okay and uh, this is about uh, how to read uh, http request headers and response headers using uh, servlet program and uh, thanks for watching bye